Right, buddy, three things to expect from Manchester United's trip to Victoria Pilsen. We'll be talking about changes Amarin must make, threats from both teams, and that's really about it. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight into it. So, the first thing, as we always start these things off with rotation, Amarin's going to make changes. You look at the team we started against Nottingham Forest, it was Onana in goal, Yoro, Delit, and Martinez. With the low left wing back, Ahmad right wing back, Ugarte and Mainu in midfield, Bruno with one of the inside tens, Garnacho in the other, and Hoyland through the middle. There definitely will be five, six changes. And Amarim has been heavily criticised for rotating, but I think you have to rotate this team. With the with the way that we've been playing, with the constant games that are coming up, we've got Man City on the weekend, we've got um, an EFL Cup final next week. It is very, very tough, and the games are coming up thick and fast. So we've got to be very careful with the squad and manage the squad and manage the load and that's something Amram's talked about a lot now in terms of the team Onana will stay in goal now our back three is very interested I've gone with Yoro right centre back the lit central no sorry Maguire central centre back and Martinez left centre back the reason why I'm starting Yoro give him a bit more game time maybe keep him on for the first hour 45 minutes then rotate him off or you could either maybe start the lit and then bring Yoro on for the like you can rotate but I want to see Yoro get some more minutes Maguire listen i he came on against Forrest, needs some minutes in his legs to rotate, and he would be there. Now, Martinez, I did the video talking about Martinez. Is he going to struggle? I have noticed that he is struggling a bit, but I think he will be fine in a game like this. Um, so, I'll stick him in the left centre-back. Now, I'm starting Masrabi left wing-back. For that, the low performance against Forrest, he has to be benched. Like, there's no two ways about it. The performance was just simply not good enough. It wasn't to that Manchester United standard. It lacked quality, impetus. It looked... It lacked a lot of things um, from the low. Zero out of nine accurate crosses, silly decision making. And based on that, he has to be dropped. So I'd put Masrabi out in that left wing back position. Now you ain't going to believe this one. Right wing back, I'm going to play Anthony. Now people may disagree with me why you starting Anthony. Listen, Anthony's a player who... He hasn't, he hasn't really been in favour for Ruben Amram. I don't think he has got many minutes under him. But with rotation, I want to keep Ahmad fresh for Man City. I think if we start Ahmad... Um, against Victoria Pilsen, he, he won't start against City. Um, so that would be that. I mean, you could see him revert, start Ahmad in this game and then go more defensive against City, which I don't think he should do. Now, obviously, there's very there's lots of rotation you could do. You could um, put um, Malassia left wing back and put Masrabi on the right hand side. They're, they're even more, you can even start the low if you want to, but that's what I would go with. I would go with Casemiro and Manu in that midfield. Ugarte needs a rest. I think he started both of the games against Forest and against um, Arsenal. So I'd put Ugarte on the bench. I'd put Manu in. He needs all the games he can get to increase his fitness. And obviously next to Casemiro, I think that would be a very good midfield. Two inside forwards would be Bruno and Mount and Xerxes through the middle. Now, the second thing to expect... United sweat. Let's talk about them. Manchester United should be beating this team three or four nil. No disrespect to them. They are only one one goal. Literally, it's goal difference that's keeping Manchester United and Victoria Pilsen apart in the Europa League. I think we're twelfth and thirteenth. Both won two, both drawn three. And um, Victoria Pilsen won their last Europa League game. Um, but listen, United's threat. I think it will be mainly through the the inside forward, whether that be Bruno or Mount Rashford comes in, Garnacho, but those two supplying for the striker. Um, I think getting the fullbacks in as well. But the one thing that I need to talk about is the stupid decision making I've seen some of these players doing, whether that be Garnacho, Delo, Bruno Fernandes making silly passes, Hoyland not really being intelligent, Rashford. These have got to stop the individual mistakes. Amrim cannot coach, he doesn't have the time to coach individual mistakes out of players, and he shouldn't be able to do that anyway. We've got to limit the individual mistakes. Any team will punish us. We've seen it time and time again in a Manchester United team. So get get rid of that. Um, but in terms of United threat, listen, I think we'll win the game. I think the midfield, the attack, our main... If I was to pinpoint one player to be a threat, I think it would be Bruno Fernandes in this game. Now, the third thing to expect, the result. As I said there, I'm not going to talk about Victoria Pelzen because, to be honest, I don't know too much about them. I know they play a 3-4-1-2 formation. They're second in their domestic league. But in terms of the result, listen, Pelzen won their last Europa League game, Manchester United. Was it against Pauk? We went, was our last Europa Wait, who was I? Wait, let me just check. It was against Pauk, no? I think it, I think our last Europa League game was against Pauk. Um, so that would be that. 
In terms of the result, as I said, I think it will be 3 0 Manchester United. I'm hoping we can come in back with a clean sheet, three points, increase ourselves up to that um, Europa League table. And we only have a couple of games left. But listen, they've been the three things to expect. Thanks for watching and peace.